Okay, guys, good morning. We are going to be continuing with our mechanics experiments. And today we are going to do the second part of the experiment. The first part of the experiment you, you've already seen. If you have not actually watched that video, you could go and watch that video so that you would understand better. But this part, we are going to be inserting the mass in a fluid, specifically water, such that we could be able to also calculate the up thrust on the mass. The setup is pretty much the same from the previous one. The cantilever firmly fixed on a bench at the specific position. So you could see the horizontal metal room with the pin attached this time at the tip of the metal room. And of course, the vertical metal room, which is going to serve as our scale, scale uh, firmly clamped um, by using a red hot stand. The same set of masses is actually what we are still using, 550 gram masses. And then additionally, the liquid with which we are going to be using in a beaker water, of which it is expected that the masses will be uh, fully immersed in it. So we could be able to actually deduce the up thrust on the mass. So we are going to run it through just like um, we did the previous time. So the first thing we are going to do, of course, is to remember that all precautions actually need to be followed before you take your reading in sure that the, the meter is not bouncing or that you off the fans to avoid draft. And then you read all your skill, anything that you're reading, using or uh, avoiding error due to parallax. So I'm going to start by inserting the 50 gram mass on the hanger. Now this is in air. When I'm through with air, I will now go over and do in liquid. So in air, the, before that, the initial pointer reading, which is meant to, which we're meant to take note of, the initial pointer reading is 44. Point eight. If you look at it from I, I would at eye level, forty-four point eight. You note that down, and then we put our fifty gram mass. Our fifty gram mass is forty-eight point forty-eight point four. Yeah. Trying to get exactly um, what you're seeing there because I'm I'm viewing from up. Actually, at eye level, it is actually 48.5, actually, 48.5. Let me do it by this, from the side here, 48.5. So you record that 48.5 as the pointer reading for 50. Then you go ahead and put the another 50 gram mass. If you, rec if you read it through, you're going to get 52, 52. That's the reading I'm having there. So after I put the... Uh, the next 50 gram mass, making it a total of 150 grams. The reading I'm having there is 55.8. 55.8. 55.8. 8. That is. Um, well, let me say, okay, sorry. 56. 56. All right, now the here is the 200 gram mass, and then I have the pointer at 0.60. 0.60. And then finally, here is the 250, uh, 250 gram mass, and then the pointer is at point 64. 64. Sorry, it's a little bit bouncing. 64. That's what the pointer reading is at. All right, so having completed that, we'll proceed to the other second part of the experiment where we are going to insert the masses inside the liquid provided. Now, you have to unload and then confirm that my meter rule is perfectly elastic so that I would actually take note of the error um, in the experiment. So after unloading, I can see that my new pointer reading is at 0.55. So I have to take note of that. I have to take note of that. Now, for me to get my uh, depression, I'll have to use this as my new pointer reading for the, uh, for the liquid part. So I will hang in the 50 gram mass now. So this is the 50 gram mass hung carefully into the water. 
properly submerged in the water, as you can see. Now, the pointer reading is at point 48.5, 48.5, 48.5. So here is 100 gram, 100 gram mass fully submerged in the li liquid, and then the pointer reading is at point 51.8, 51.8. Now, as we begin to round up, here is the 150 gram mass completely immersed. Ensure that it doesn't touch any part of the beaker. And then we could actually go ahead and take our reading. Now, to check our reading, the pointer reading is at 51.1. That's the pointer reading here, 51.1, 51.2, actually 51.2. Rather 55.2, 55.2. So here is 200 gram completely immersed in the liquid. And then our pointer reading is now at 0 0.58, 58.8. 8. Our pointer reading is at 0 0.58.8, as you can see. And then finally, this is the 250 gram mass completely immersed in a liquid and then we have our pointer reading at um, 0 0.52 62 62.8 62.8 62.8 rather 60 63 63 so this is what your table looks like after compiling everything that I've gotten and this could be used to plot a graph, any graph based on what the examiner is asking you for. Now note that I had to take the new pointer reading for the, for the liquid because um, the meter rule is not perfectly elastic. So if I see maintain that my initial pointer reading, it means I'll be working in error. At the time, as at the time I unloaded, it did not get back to the original uh, initial pointer reading. So if I had used that original pointer reading um, uh, and do for the water or for the liquid, uh, it's going to be giving me um, a series of errors. So I had to find a new pointer reading in order to use it for that liquid. And that was why you saw it is recorded there. And that was what also I used. So the reading, the X minus this new is for this particular uh, column. And then this initial reading the x minus this initial reading was what gave me for this one and then i found the difference between so you can see this value here could be used to calculate both the relative density or the up trust in the liquid as the case may be depending on what the example so this represents a total uh, overview of what um, you are expected to do especially for those of you in nigeria that wants to do um neko all right so this is what um, Neko would be requesting or requiring you to do something close to this. Any other additional thing is just uh, at the discretion of the examiner, maybe to test your depth of understanding or your knowledge. But this presents a, a background um, and the basis for you to succeed in that particular exam. So I advise you to go and read up elastic properties of solids as a, as a topic and also to go and read up density, relative density and up trust as a topic on its own and combine them both so that you could be able to answer the sub questions that will be coming, especially the calculation question they are going to bring out for you in the sub question. And then the precautions I'd already told you in the first video, so make reference to the first video to get the uh, correct background on this particular experiment. A graph will be plotted, the slope also will be calculated, and then the, if there is need, they could ask you to find the intercept and of course, and the two short answer questions that will be asked. I wish you all the best. Thank you.